Zachariah Begley here reporting for Globe News from the Elkhart County Health Department here at 608 Oakland Avenue in Elkhart, Indiana. We're here to talk with Dr. Bethany Waite as she moves into her new role as the Elkhart County Health Officer in the beginning of 2021. So I think my first year is going to be pretty much COVID driven. So we need to get the vaccine rolled out to at least 70% of our community before we can start taking our masks off and hoping for some type of normality. So right now, uh, our numbers look better. Uh, and so the goal will be to keep our numbers where we're at. We're not going to be able to get rid of the virus. That's just not possible. Dr. Waite speaks on a role as health officer of Elkhart County. I'm a primary care doctor. Um, we live by prevention. And so that's what I will bring to this particular job. So currently the health department has a couple of clinics where we help to keep uh, kids, young kids, vaccinated. So we'll continue to do that, but we also are going to add some different um, preventative education along with that uh, immunization clinic. So when kids come in to get their childhood vaccines, we'll try and educate them based on their age group. And then we also have a sexually transmitted infection clinic. And so that is a big portion of a health department is to keep the sexual health of our population. Uh, and so a lot of education in that as well. She speaks to what she hopes her legacy will be as Elkhart County Health Officer. That's a tough question to answer, uh, especially when it's just day 29. But I think um, really making healthcare more equitable in Elkhart County um, it's probably going to be one of my things that I hope people look back and see. I think that I also uh, would like to revitalize the health department and make it more of an outreach, a more of a community-driven place. Right now, not um, all that many people know what the health department does for them, doesn't know what it could do for them. And I certainly would like to change that and make it more visible in general to our community. For Globe News, I'm Zachariah Begley.